Ever heard of the film Rough Riders? West of the Law. Rings a bell. Yeah. Well, get this. This 1942 Western. It came out right during the golden age of Westerns. Really? 1942? Uh-huh. So we thought for this deep dive, we'd take a closer look. You know, see how it stacks up. Should be interesting. Westerns from that era, they really set the standard, didn't they? That's what we're here to find out. Mm -hmm. So the film follows this group of, well, rough riders, obviously, trying to keep the peace in this wild territory. Sounds like a classic setup for a Western. Oh, it definitely hits all the familiar notes. Like what? You name it. Showdowns at high noon. Right, right. Those dramatic standoffs. Can't forget those. Brawls breaking out in saloons. Oh, and those epic chases through those beautiful landscapes. You know, those iconic Western vistas. Exactly. But, and here's the thing. The plot, according to what we've gathered, it leans a little too heavily on those tropes. You mean it's predictable? Kind of. It doesn't really break any new ground and the pacing it's a bit uneven ah pacing can really make or break a film for sure some scenes drag on a bit while others feel rushed that can be jarring for the viewer it takes you right out of the experience exactly so maybe not the most captivating story but what about the characters we've got the classic western archetypes right yeah the hero the damsel in distress, the villain. Those are staples. you got to have those. You'd think with such well-defined roles, the performances would be memorable. But, and this is surprising, they kind of fall flat. Even with those archetypes. Even with them. The characters, they lack depth. Mm. And get this, Buck Jones, a big Western star back in the day, he's the hero. Buck Jones, huh? Yeah. But even he doesn't bring much to the role. Wow. So even with a star like Buck Jones, the characters just don't grab you. Not really. So, okay, the plot might be a bit predictable. The character's a little flat. But what about the director? Did they do anything to, you know, elevate the material? It doesn't seem so. From what I've read, the direction was, how should I put it, safe. Safe. Yeah, like they stuck to the Western formula, didn't try to push any boundaries visually or anything. So visually, we're not looking at a cinematic masterpiece. Not quite. But, you know, Westerns. They're known for those sweeping shots of the American West, those vast landscapes. True, true. Did this film at least make use of that? Oh, the landscapes are there. It's decent cinematography, but again, nothing groundbreaking. Even the action sequences, you know, those shootouts and chases, they feel kind of staged, almost dated. So no breathtaking visuals either. It's sounding like Rough Riders might be a bit of a letdown. So far, yeah. But let's move on to the themes. Westerns often touch on these big, universal ideas like justice and morality. Did Rough Riders try to do that? It does touch on those classic Western themes, you know, good versus evil, law and order, that kind of thing. And remember, this song came out during World War II. Right. And Westerns, they were incredibly popular back then. People wanted to escape, you know, get away from all the conflict and uncertainty of the war. A simpler time, the Wild West, good guys and bad guys. Exactly. So Rough Riders might have offered that escape for audiences in 1942, but did the film actually explore these themes in a meaningful way? Well, that's where things get a little more complicated. Go on. It does present these themes, but it doesn't really delve deep into them. It's all pretty surface level, very black and white. Good versus evil, no shades of gray. Exactly. So it's not that the film ignores these themes. It just doesn't really wrestle with them, you know? So to recap, we have a somewhat predictable plot, characters that aren't very memorable, and themes that aren't explored in depth. Anything else we should cover? Let's see. We talked about the visuals. What about the music and sound design? Oh, right. They're there. They serve their purpose. But again, nothing really stands out. Kind of blends into the background. Exactly. So all in all, it sounds like Rough Riders West of the Law is a bit of a mixed bag. You could say that. It hits the basic marks of a Western, but doesn't quite reach its full potential. It's not necessarily a bad film. No, not bad. It's just, you know might not be the most memorable Western you'll ever see. Right. But here's a thought. Maybe for those 1942 audiences dealing with the weight of the war, maybe they weren't looking for a complex, thought-provoking Western. Maybe they just wanted something familiar, something that reassured them that good would always triumph over evil. That's an interesting point. Maybe that simplicity, that adherence to familiar tropes, maybe that's what made it appealing back then. What do you think? It's definitely something to consider. Please visit our streaming service at lostandfoundfilms.uscreen.io. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell for our notifications of our future films. Thank you.